What happens if you stop eating sugar for two weeks? Here's what you can expect. First, you'll notice changes in your face. It will become slimmer and less puffy. You'll see these changes not just in your face, but also around your waist. Belly fat will start to disappear because your liver will be losing fat. Without sugar, your body will have to rely on fats for energy, since sugar and fat are the only energy sources available. When your body has the choice, it always burns sugar first. But if there's no sugar, it will start using fat, beginning with the fat stored in your liver. Before we continue, if you're interested in learning about the benefits of cutting out sugar, please like this video to show your support. If you're new to our channel, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Changes in your eyes, kidneys, brain, and arteries. These organs will be the first to experience improvements. Your eyes will benefit as your vision becomes clearer. Eyes are very sensitive to sugar, which is why diabetics often develop diabetic retinopathy, a condition that damages the retina. Without sugar, your eyes will be healthier. Your kidneys will also improve. Excess sugar can damage kidneys, leading to sugar or protein appearing in urine. This happens because sugar causes inflammation in the kidneys, affecting the tiny filtering units called nephrons. This condition is known as diabetic nephropathy. With less sugar, your kidneys will function better. Arteries suffer from too much sugar as well, causing diabetic angiopathy. Without sugar, inflammation in the arteries will decrease, and the rusting effect of excess glucose will diminish. Sugar is also converted into fat and cholesterol, so your cholesterol levels will improve significantly. Your nerves and brain will heal with reduced sugar intake. If you suffer from peripheral neuropathy, a condition that affects nerve endings in the feet, this will start to improve. Since the brain consists of nerves, it will also heal, enhancing cognitive functions like memory, attention, and concentration. Your mood will improve, making you feel much happier more energy. The body can run on two types of fuel, sugar and fat. When you stop consuming sugar, your body has to burn fat, which provides far more calories than sugar. On average, a lean person carries about 100,000 kilocalories in fat stores, compared to only about 1,700 kilocalories in sugar stores. To put this in perspective, it's like comparing a car battery to a small AA battery. Running your body on sugar is like running it on a tiny battery. You'll constantly feel hungry, experience cravings, and suffer energy fluctuations. But when you burn fat, you avoid these sugar highs and lows, leading to more stable energy levels and less fatigue. Between meals, your body should ideally be burning fat for energy. Most people with a typical diet can't tap into their fat stores because their blood sugar levels are too high. By lowering sugar and switching to fat as the primary fuel, you'll be constantly burning fat between meals and even during meals. This will provide you with a steady and significant energy supply throughout the day, improving how your brain functions. This leads to the next point, reduced food cravings and appetite between meals. Reduced cravings. When you cut out sugar, your cravings for food will decrease. Even when you're not eating, your body is still getting energy from its own fat stores. This keeps you feeling full, so you won't be as hungry. The only way to achieve this is to eliminate sugar, avoid frequent eating, and stop snacking. To get rid of sugar cravings, simply stop eating sugar. It takes about three days to adjust, and it's not as hard as it sounds. Reduce your carbohydrate intake to less than 50 grams a day. This includes fruits, honey, and hidden sugars found in foods like bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, cookies, waffles, and similar items. On average, people in the U.S. consume about 13.5 teaspoons of added sugar daily, which is 54 grams. For those outside the U.S., it's the same amount, but this is just the added sugar. When you consider sugar from other carbohydrates like bread, pasta, alcoholic drinks like wine or beer, sodas, juices, etc. It adds up to about half a pound of sugar daily, 275 grams or 68.75 teaspoons of sugar. Added sugar is just the tip of the iceberg. 
all other carbs also turn into sugar in your body. This is why switching your diet to burn fat instead of sugar makes you feel so much better. The improvement in mood and cognitive function will surprise you. You'll feel great and look better. Your clothes will fit better, your face will be less round, and you won't crave sugar anymore. This is very important. Reduced inflammation. Cutting out sugar will reduce inflammation in your body, leading to less pain and stiffness. Your blood vessels will become less rigid, which means your blood pressure will decrease, and you may need fewer medications. Anti-inflammatory drugs are very common, but by reducing inflammation, you might be able to stop taking these as well. Inflammation affects many areas inside your body, such as tissues, blood vessels, eyes, kidneys, and the nervous system. Many improvements from reducing inflammation aren't visible to the eye. Inflammation in the blood vessels thickens their walls. The thicker the vessel wall, the less space there is for blood flow, increasing the risk of blood clots. By cutting out sugar, you improve blood circulation to your body's tissues. Weight loss. This is quite obvious. You will lose weight, but more importantly, you will lose fat. For many people, this is a new experience. Initially, you will lose a lot of water weight because, as mentioned, where there is glucose stored as glycogen, there is also three times its weight in water. Stored sugar is essentially like a sponge filled with fluid. You will lose at least 6 kilograms, about 13 pounds, in the first week or two just by cutting out sugar, and this is significant. However, what's even more important is that you will start burning fat and losing weight effectively. Think about all the benefits of weight loss and how effectively you can achieve it. Trying to diet with carbohydrates is very difficult, not to mention the torture of constant cravings and hunger, which makes it unsustainable. Many people may not realize that carbohydrates turn into fat and cholesterol. A large part of the fat in your liver comes from carbohydrates. I'm not talking about the carbs in greens, but those in grains, bread, pasta, starches, potatoes, and so on. Additionally, your skin will improve. Acne and other skin problems will begin to clear up. Improved skin condition. For example, red rashes will diminish as we reduce inflammation throughout the body, including the skin. This reduction in inflammation is one reason your face will change shape, becoming less puffy around the eyes and cheeks. Many people don't realize that the puffiness in their face is due to an excess of carbohydrates. By cutting out sugar, you'll see a decrease in facial swelling and overall skin improvement. Improved insulin resistance. The last major benefit is the reduction of insulin resistance, which underlies many health issues. Let me explain what it is. Insulin is a hormone activated by sugar and carbohydrates. They go hand in hand. High insulin levels are always due to carbohydrates. When the body develops resistance to something, it starts rejecting it. This can also happen with glucose intolerance, a form of resistance. It's all about the receptors in your body that accept certain substances. If you consume a lot of sugar for a long time, your body resists it, creating a barrier and becoming intolerant to sugar. The same happens with insulin. Excessive insulin becomes toxic and harmful, so the body develops resistance to it. To compensate, the body produces more insulin to overcome this resistance leading to high insulin levels. Many health issues stem not just from glucose, but from insulin itself. At the cellular level, there is also an insulin deficiency due to this resistance, which causes additional problems. Eventually, the pancreas, which produces insulin, becomes exhausted and can no longer keep up with the demand, leading to prediabetes and diabetes. This happens when the pancreas can't produce enough insulin to keep blood sugar levels normal. Insulin resistance also slows down metabolism, making it difficult to lose weight beyond a certain point. Insulin is essential for absorbing potassium, magnesium, vitamin B1, calcium, and many other nutrients, including vitamin D. By cutting out sugar, you reduce insulin resistance and improve the absorption of these nutrients and amino acids needed for protein building. If you've experienced muscle atrophy, which can appear as cellulite on your legs and buttocks, it will start to recede. You'll gain more muscle, and your body will take on a better shape. Reducing insulin resistance helps with liver fat, 
lowers the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even cancer. Dear viewers, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and goodbye.